Hey y'all, so before I get into this video, I want to say a few things. Firstly, I know that this topic is a very heated one within the already inflamed Halo community. So I want to make this clear, this video was not meant to bash anyone. I want to explain in detail my own issues with the Halo TV show, specifically that scene and how it perfectly embodies my issues with the show, while also facilitating healthy debate and discussion. You can like the show, you can disagree with me, that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. The second thing I want to say is that my issue with this show purely has to do with the writing and there are a lot of things I do appreciate about it. I can tell that the actors, artists, prop makers, and really just about everyone involved with the making of the showrunner's vision is really ta they're really talented they're passionate with what they do at the end of the day they were just given a bad script in my opinion so please don't direct any hate or blame their way and don't shame them actually don't direct any hate to the showrunners either let's be open honest and respectful we all love halo and there's no need to be toxic and with that said let's get into this oh boy so, I'm just gonna be blunt. The Halo TV show, in my opinion, suffers from three core issues. One, it doesn't know who its audience is. Two, the show tries so hard to be something that Halo isn't. Three, the show is riddled with pointless, odd, nonsensical, and unnecessary moments that seriously degrade its quality. I think it is safe to say at this point that the core audience intended for the show was not necessarily meant to be Halo fans. That or it does not know who its audience is. There are so many moments in the show where things are really dumb and simplistic and yet it tries to be deep and meaningful while trying to take the Halo narrative and reinvent it to be what the showrunners want. At times, it is really hard for me not to think that the intended audience of this show was actually not the Halo community, but rather it's meant to be a sci-fi show to get people into Paramount Plus with a Halo aesthetic slapped onto it. It's like someone took the dialogue from a CW show, mashed it with Game of Thrones, and sprinkled in some Halo on top of that. And that's this show. Honestly, given that Paramount seems to be really hell-bent on saying, Mission accomplished, boys, this show is a smash hit due to the new people uh, the show is bringing into their streaming service, despite the clear and obvious uproar from the Halo community, I, I, I just can't help but feel that way. The show tries really hard to basically reinvent Halo, and even if this is not the case, it's as if the writers looked at the Halo canon and felt they could do better. And forgive me for thinking this, but it's hard not to feel this way when their own rhetoric towards the canon and games, well, it's extremely disrespectful and condescending. It's almost scornful and defensive. They try to talk as if the games and canon of Halo have no depth no emotion, no character, that the Chief is this flat, emotionless automaton, and that speaks volumes to me because he stopped being an automaton on the screen when Halo 3 ended, and then, and then there were already books by that point developing him as a character. He felt grief, fear, love, happiness, anger, just the hallmarks of a regular human. Sure, he expressed and processed those emotions uh, in unhealthy ways, but remember, Part of Halo is him rediscovering how to be human, and that has been a core part of his development as a character in the canon for a good while now. You can't play Halo 4 or Halo Infinite and read any of the Master Chief books and tell me that he is a flat character. And to say that the games are just this depthless or flat thing is so bad. It's so misinformed. It completely ignores the many heartfelt and emotional moments, both in the games and the books, and the showrunners seem hellbent on saying that they're doing something that has never been done before, that they're humanizing the Chief, but what they're doing is portraying the Chief as this impulsive, almost psychopathic, selfish, violent, unhinged man that is a slave to his instincts. Honestly, thank God Pablo Schreiber is the one playing the Chief, because he is the one carrying this. And this show is doing a lot of damage to the overall perception of the Chief in Halo itself. Like, I, I, as an example, recently had a friend who never played Halo text me asking me how I thought the Master Chief was a cool character because they just thought that the Chief 
was bewildered, was like a bewildering, weird character after watching the show. By the way, I know that this is going to be brought up, so I'm just going to nip this argument in the bud right now. The issue isn't that the show is non-canon. You can have a non-canon adaptation for something that is good. At some point, you gotta call it as it is. Bad writing, while subjective, is bad writing. This has nothing to do with lore accuracy, this has everything to do with how this is just a bad adaptation. Actually, this is not just an adaptation, this is a blatant attempt at redoing Halo. And it's a bad attempt. And for the record, I'm not a hater. I was actually enjoying the show. I admitted that my misgivings about the show were wrong when I saw the first episode in a video not too long ago. I was enjoying the show until that scene where the chief takes out his Spartan and proceeds to this sh out of the obviously indoctrinated Covenant spy while Cortana fucking watched. And that brings me to my third point. The show tries so hard to be Space Game of Thrones that it just becomes riddled with nonsense. And I mean, nonsense. You mean to tell me that the Chief who has only known this woman for a very limited amount of time, who has just, you know, uh, lost all his trust in Halsey, who, I mean, I'm just gonna say this, just as, just as a quick little side tangent, the Chief trusted Halsey, he's not, and he's clearly not emotionally developed, so for him to just trust this obviously indoctrinated Covenant spy is so odd after he just lost all his trust in the person that he trusted more than anyone else. Also, where the hell is the security in Oni? You mean to tell me that the same organization who was so afraid of the notion that the chief could turn on them that they added in a function into his suit that could suffocate him is now letting the emotionally unhinged Master Chief walk around with the suspected spy? Also, is nobody gonna be suspicious of Maki after she threatened the medical staff with her hidden plasma nail knife thing? I'm just saying, for someone who was allegedly held hostage and abused by the Covenant, it's sure strange that they would arm her with a hidden weapon. Also, for an alleged escapee, she sure praises the Great Journey a lot. And yet, the Chief is just allowed to go on a date with her, where they then proceed to fuck? Why? Why? This feels like a poorly done fanfiction, and for the record, fanfiction is awesome. And I've read better fanfics than this. Hell, I like to write fanfics from time to time. I'm not afraid to admit that. And carrying on with this theme of unnecessary, nonsensical plot points, the show is riddled with this. Like Aiden, Halsey's partner or whatever, was about to force himself onto Halsey's clone, and when that clone was restrained, unable to protect herself no less. And you know, she was also about to be killed moments later. That is orders of magnitude levels of fucked up. And they never address this again, ever. Like it just happened and the show forgets it happens. I'm not against the darker aspects of humanity being shown in a story. Horrible, horrible things like this can happen. And we oftentimes shy away from it, understandably so. So when a show or a book or a movie or a comic or whatever form of entertainment includes something like this, it needs to be relevant, well done, meaningful to character development, and it needs to be emotionally powerful with its execution. It does none of that, it just added it in to add it in. And then there is the nudity. And it is because of the nudity that I feel this was very deliberately an attempt at Space Game of Thrones. I'm not against nudity. I'm not against scenes of intimacy in media. I think that we are way too squeamish about that. The human body is a very beautiful thing, and if done right, intimate scenes could be a powerful culmination of character development. But this show just does it wrong. So the sheen... <clears throat> So, the scenes with the Chief and later on Kai being new to take out their emotions, suppress their things, that makes sense, I understand that. But then there's the romance scene, that time, oh, and don't, don't forget that time Maki was getting undressed in the middle of Halsey's monologue, like what the hell did that have to do with it? And actually, I think the biggest one for me was Venture's bath scene. 
Venture was a character that really interested me, and I loved where the show was going with him. The way he's publicly so, we don't need to fight. Let's pursue peace. Now off camera, he's this vicious, brutal, totalitarian warlord. So well done. When he was just straight up executing people in the street without a care, and then looking at someone's face to be like, Oh, you're pretty. Bang! Not anymore. Instantly, I was interested in this character. I saw how he operates. I saw that he's not just some classic goon with a monologue trope, and that he gets shit done himself. I was down for this. And then I immediately lost interest when he had a Bond villain monologue while swimming in an oversized bath. Why did they have to do that? Why was this necessary? And then there's the really dumb details too, like Planet Reach, Reach City. You know they could have chosen from any of the cities on Reach in canon, any of the cities, like New Alexandria, not that hard to call it New Alexandria, and they chose to say, nah, we'll call this Reach City. Like, they were just either really pressed for time and just ran out of time, or they think that the audience is fucking stupid, and I can't tell which is which. And going back to the canon versus adaptation argument, some of the best parts of the show have been where it even vaguely resembles the source material. The start of the first episode, with the insurrectionists talking about the Spartans as these almost mythical, unkillable machines with bravery but a hint of fear, that was the perfect way to adapt a theme or idea from the canon without just straight up copying and pasting it. In the canon, insurrectionists have children's rhymes painting the Spartans as the killing machines that the insurrectionists were saying they were in the show. And we got a good look at that in the Cole Protocol. Speaking of that book, <clears throat> speaking of that book, excuse me, the rubble, they basically perfectly encapsulated the look of it and feel from it from the book while also keeping their own fresh spin on it. Instead of an insurrectionist run government, the rubble is a home for insurrectionists, pirates, mercenaries, outlaws, and that's fine. Soren, by the way, in canon, was mutilated and defected from the UNSC, and he was shot down. That same thing happened here, but he survived and went on to become a pirate, and Soren is one of the highlights of the show for me. Even just taking the time to show the brutality of the Covenant and their plasma weaponry was just mwah, chef's kiss. Seeing the Spartans in action and how they kick ass is awesome. Even that scene where they're all looking at a glassed world and just painting the true dread and distress of that kind of situation was haunting, and you know what? We haven't seen many examples of humans reacting in the glassed worlds for the first time, and this is not a first, but it's definitely among the first times, and it was done really well. Like, just think about it, imagine that your people are fighting a losing war in which your extinction feels inevitable. Imagine how it must feel to look at a beacon of your culture being literally melted down into a molted, superheated material. That has to be horrifying, and the show shows it well. But when the show tries to run off on these random, unnecessary things like, you know, the chief whipping out the dick and fucking the spy, it doesn't work. And don't even get me started on the existence of Maki as a character, I have so many issues with that. I want to reiterate, I was enjoying the show for what it was, until that scene. I had issues with it, I had criticisms, but I was willing to accept that and focus on what I was enjoying, and I'm still trying to focus on what I enjoyed. This scene pushed it way too far, but you know what, I'm still holding out and I know it's foolish, hope that at the very least, Season 2 will learn from this and be better. Because you know what? There are good aspects of the show. The action is amazing, the world building is amazing, and there are some moments where it's just really beautiful. I think a moment that stuck out to me was the Chief going through Reach City and experiencing music for the first time. That was a very beautiful scene. The Mjolnir armor looks so cool. The props look amazing. Even though the VFX could be a bit 
janky at times, it still has some pretty cool moments. The actors are awesome people, and they're talented. If there is anything that made me smile, it was seeing how into their roles they are. I love how they're also having fun with it. They're being the character. Their smiles on social media are genuine, and it's really nice to see. It's refreshing. I don't want the TV show to be cancelled. I think that there are wonderful, passionate, and talented people working on it. I just want it to be better than what it is. I'm fine with the chief taking off his helmet. I'm fine with an emotional chief. I'm fine with a romantic chief. I shipped Cannon Chief with Kelly and Silver Chief with Kai, for God's sake. That's fine. But we have had, as of recording this, what, two episodes where the Spartans fight the Covenant? The Covenant was barely in the show. We have seen the chief nude, out of armor, or in the undersuit more times than we have seen him in armor. And look, again, if you like the show, that's okay. That's fine. But I, I can't like this. So, yeah, at this point, the show has lost me, at least for now. It, it will take some serious changes for me to come back in, like... I, I don't know, uh, like a complete change in the direction of the story or the fall of fucking reach. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm not going to force myself to watch this anymore. Yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please be respectful. Um, I also have a Discord, and yeah, uh, uh, I'll see you in the Cosmos, friends. <sighs> I'm so done with this shit.